welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and as promised in my previous video, I am back again with a second Eid makeup look. I did the first one. Make sure to go watch that before you even watch this. I'll have it somewhere on the screen. And so yeah, this look is basically a lot more bold. It is very glam. It's perfect for nighttime, whether you're going on a date, whether you're going out with your loved ones, your girls, doesn't really matter. If you want to look super snatched this eighth, then this is the makeup tutorial for you. I basically did this half cut crease, glitter, lots of lashes. We have a nude lip and just basically a flawless base. The whole look is just giving me eight vibes. And so yeah, I wanted to get this look up for you guys early. I know you guys are going to be busy. I'm going to be busy. So I wanted to make sure that these looks were up for you guys just in time for Eid. And if you guys do decide to recreate this look, don't forget to tag me. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social medias to keep up with me, as well as subscribe to my channel and also have your notifications on. That way you don't miss any of my posts. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let's just jump right into it. So I'm gonna use this oil to moisturize my skin. Basically finished this oil, you guys. It was sent to me by a company and honestly, I do not know how to pronounce the name i just know that i love it and i also use this on my client as well it's so amazing and i also use it for my lips to moisturize my lips and to ensure that my makeup lasts all day i'm gonna go ahead and prime with the benefit professional i used this in my last video as well i really like this primer as it works for a lot of people with different skin types and I'm just going to focus this in my T-zone. Yes. And I'm going to do things a little bit different today. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my skin and then move on to eyes. And for my foundation today, I'm going to be mixing two different foundations. The first one is the Lancome 10 to Adult Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I'm going to use this because it claims to be 24 hours. And honestly, I just really like the way it sits on my skin. And I am in the shade... The shades are so weird. I'm in the shade 450 neutral. On top, I'm going to take the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I really love this foundation, you guys, and I've been basically using it a lot. Let me see how far I'm... Okay, I'm not that far, but as you guys can see, I really went through it, and I really, really love the formula of this foundation as well, and I also love how it sits on my skin, and I am going to be using it in the color Golden Amber. This is a little bit too warm on my skin, and this is like my exact shade, so I feel like the two of them mixed together is going to give me that perfect, perfect base that I'm looking for. Just yesterday, I ordered my first mic, so I'm hoping that that will get here hopefully by next week, and inshallah, hopefully... It makes my audio sound much better because when I be editing my videos I'd be like ew who wants to sit there and listen to me it's so much and next I'm gonna just take some of that Lancome foundation I really really love these two combined I'm not gonna lie and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out Oh, by the way, I have my contacts on. Um, I haven't worn contacts in like forever or what feels like forever. Um, I do have a discount code. I'll link that down below for you guys. I'm going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer in the color Medium Neutral. I really like this concealer, but I feel like it dries really, really quick. So I literally have to do one eye at a time to sketch out under my brow with this as well and also use this as a base just like that and now that we look a little cuckoo we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my beauty blender i remember going to the event that urban decay had in seattle which was so refreshing I feel like nothing ever really happens in Seattle, so to see a, a big brand such as Urban Decay coming here and blessing us with their presence was just amazing. And we basically got, well I got, a lot of the concealers. I feel like other brands should also aim to do the same thing because that was so refreshing honestly. 
I feel like everything happens in LA and like New York and nothing ever happens in other cities or states so I feel like that was really really nice of them and to bring back some definition and to bronze up my skin I'm gonna go in with the LA Pro Girl Conceal in the color Espresso and I'm just going to contour with this So who watched Rihanna doing her makeup on Vogue's channel? That was everything. I absolutely love Rihanna. But then again, who doesn't really love her? You guys, I'm literally sitting in my living room recording this, so. And it legit took me an hour to set this up, so. Please give this video a thumbs up to make me feel a little better about this setup to ensure that my makeup stays put all day and doesn't budge. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Airspun Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. Look up, blend it out, grab the powder, blow on it, and then push the product onto the skin. I'm gonna take more powder and just set underneath my eye so that way if I get any eyeshadow fallout, the powder will catch it. So moving on, I'm just going to take this super burnt orange eyeshadow. It doesn't really have a name, but I know that this is from Morphe. But just take any eyeshadow that looks like this and take a blending brush. I'm taking Morphe M502 and I'm going to use this as my transition. Tilt your head up like that so that way you can see where your actual crease is. And if you don't have one... Like if you don't have a crease, just sit there and honestly create one. This is going to take you longer to do it, but it's totally doable. So this is the next shade that I'm going to go in with. I know it looks a bit similar to the previous one we used, but this is just a little bit more as a burgundy tone to it. So I'm going to use this to deepen up the crease even more. And with that, I'm going to take this tapered blending brush. This is the E35 from Sigma. You can use Diva Doll at checkout for 10% off on any Sigma products. And I'm going to focus this shade in the outer half of my eye. Oh no. So next I'm gonna go in. <laughs> Sorry you guys, I got distracted. So next I'm gonna go in with a Makeup Forever eyeshadow. I absolutely love the way that these eyeshadows perform. This is a Makeup Forever and I think the number is M346. I'll have everything that I'm using in the description box down below. And I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to dab this on the lid first to get maximum color payoff. And then I'm going to blend it out just like that. Next, I'm going to take a Morphe M514 brush. It looks like this. It's super, super tiny. Really good for any defining work you want to do. And I'm going to take a MAC blush. I absolutely love using this blush for my shadow. And the name is Sketch. And define my crease. And as you guys can see, it's bringing the look together. I'm going to use it to just basically darken my outer corner. So now that I cut my crease, I'm just going to take a powder that's my shade. This is the Studio Pro from BH. And I'm going to take my Sephora brush in the number 15 and set the concealer with this. Next, I'm going to go in with Huda's Rose Gold Palette and I'm going to take Moon Dust, which is this shade, and mix it with Angelic and apply this. You guys see how pretty that looks? Hope the camera's picking it up. I'm going to take Urban Decay's 
what is this heavy metal in the color distortion and just apply this ever so lightly just gives off a pretty sheen to the eye do you guys see that i don't know if you guys can see that but it's really pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and basically do what i did to the top lid to the bottom and i'll be right back next i'm just gonna go ahead and apply mascara on my top and bottom lashes you guys always ask me on Snapchat and someone actually asked me specifically to show how I get my bottom lashes to be so thick, long. So the first thing you want to do is get a mascara that works for you and a wand that works for you. Because if the wand is too big, then you're basically going to get your mascara everywhere underneath your eye. Um, as well as get a mascara formula that works for you. I'm not going to lie, basically all the mascaras that I use give me kind of the same effect. But the mascara that I am absolutely in love with at the moment is from MAC and it is the Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Shout out to Sam for getting me this. I am absolutely in love with this wand. Like do you guys see how small that wand is? This is basically what gets me to separate my lashes and I don't have to worry about getting the wand, you know, um, getting mascara underneath my eye because the wand is so thin and so precise. So that's basically what I use to get that look. So that's basically how I get the look and honestly I make weird faces and squinting my eye like that is one of them and I feel like that really helps to kind of lift my lashes up so that way it's not touching the bottom of my lid so much and I can just get in there and concentrate the product in there without worrying, without worrying about getting the product on my actual skin. So make this face and just apply your mascara that way I, I'm not gonna lie I basically got really good at doing this so all you need is just practice honestly and so you guys see the difference that it makes it's incredible And so next I'm just going to go ahead and contour my face and for that I'm just going to use that same powder that I used in my previous video. This is Ruby Kisses in the shade Chestnut and I'm going to take this little cute brush that came with a benefit set I think. I'm also going to get under my lip, just makes it a bit bigger. I'm also going to use that same blush from Sigma. I'm going to go ahead and highlight with the Anastasia Times Omrizi palette. Starting off with my nose. So I'm going to highlight my cheekbone. This highlighter is so pretty you guys. And last but not least, we're just going to move on to the lips. And for that, I'm going to line my lips with my favorite, favorite, favorite lip liner from the drugstore. And it is by the brand Kiss New York. I rave about this everywhere. If you have me on Snapchat, which you should follow me, I rave about this all the time. You guys already know. And it just glides on so beautifully. And it's the perfect like lip liner for any color that I want to wear. It is so beautiful and the price is just right. Color is roasted coffee. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this. Oops, I broke it. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and overline the crap out of my lips. You guys already know. The key to overlining is basically overlining the heck out of your bottom lip. Well, at least for me, because my bottom lip kind of hangs. So a natural shadow is already there. So what I do is I just literally over exaggerate the hell out of it and take my liner all the way down to my chin, <laughs> basically. And for my lipstick, I'm going to take a dose of colors. I broke my lid so it's looking a bit ratchet but whatever so I'm gonna take my dose of colors in the color knock on wood and apply this in the center of my lips the color that these two together mix make 
I just take any blending brush and I make sure to blend everything out. So you can honestly leave it like this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gloss on top to just give it more of a pop. And for that, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss. This is my favorite gloss ever. And there you have it. Yes, I absolutely love this look, you guys. Yes, and that's basically it, you guys. I am absolutely in love with this look. I'm not gonna lie, I had a different look in mind, but I am totally not mad at this. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do a hijab change, an outfit change, and I'll be right back. And there you have it, guys. This is basically the final result. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We just hit 13K, so thank you for that. Also, make sure you have your notifications on so that way you do get notified whenever I do post. And I don't think I have much else to say other than I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and inshallah, I will see you guys in my next one. And until then, peace and love. Bye, guys. It ends at 3, right? Ooh, girl, <laughs> girl, do you see this glow? <laughs> Guys, I want to like do that whole slow-mo shenanigans, but I don't want to add any music to my video because it's a Milan, you know what I mean? Or, mm -mm, nope, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs>